What is up guys, gals, and are you awesome, awesome minions and gamers of different shapes and sizes? It is me, Josh Aiken, and Proxy, bringing you a PlayStation VR technical video today. And what you asked me was the biggest question in VR history. <laughs> <laughs> it is, what do all three screen sizes look like in cinematic mode? Now, this has been something of great wonder, and I'm actually here to show you that today, which I think will be really helpful when it comes to those actually wanting to experience standard PlayStation 4 games in the VR headset. So what does cinematic mode mean? It basically means that you can enjoy any PlayStation 4 game that you own, be it digital, be it physical on a disc, on your headset in cinematic mode, as you can see here, which looks like a giant cinema screen. So you can enjoy Call of Duty, you can enjoy Vermintide, you can enjoy Batman, you can enjoy anything you want. It will be there in cinematic mode, which I think is fantastic. But these can actually be changed in screen size preferences. Now, this basically means that if you don't want to see the screen like this in a giant thing where it looks like we're about three to four seats back, if you look to the left, it looks like we're diagonal as well, which looks really cool. I think it looks like we're pretty much at the cinema. But if you don't want this, you can actually change it. Say you actually suffer from seizures and stuff as well from flashing lights, and you don't want those things in your face. Say you don't want a giant knife from, say, Battlefield 1 on a player trying to steal your dog tags in your face, you can change the screen size so it looks a little bit more bearable for you if it's actually your preference. So how do you do this? Well, you hold down the PlayStation button on your controller and it brings you up this little quick menu. Now, you may notice on the left we have something called Adjust PlayStation VR Settings. Now, if we select that, we have Reset Screen Position, Confirm Your Position, Screen Brightness, Screen Size, or Adjust VR Headset Position. Now, if I pick Screen Size, you'll see that it says here, set the screen size for when PlayStation VR is not in VR mode. So if I pick this, it will bring us three new options. Now, these three new options are the screen sizes. So you have large, medium, and small. Now, with that being said, there is a different quality preference to these as well. Now, you may notice in large, that large looks pretty fantastic, but the actual quality is pretty much, say, like a plasma HD television. So it's still HD, but it's not super perfect sharp like you'd see like at the TV itself but that is because of the PlayStation VR headset anyway but the great thing is is that the quality as you've seen in my Uncharted 4 video as you've seen in my Destiny video in cinematic mode in large is that it's still fantastic it looks amazing so do not worry about the quality of large in cinematic mode it looks really good it's just you know, it's not like the most latest HD television. It's a plasma HD television in quality, which is still really, really good. People use plasma TVs to this day. But if we go to screen size and change to medium, then you will see a quality difference, which is really, really awesome. Now, you may notice a black bar on the left and right side. Those are just because of the recording. They are not present in your VR headsets. So you do not worry about them. They are not there when you actually wear the headset. It's just what happens when you record cinematic mode on an Elgato or any kind of capture device. So, moving on, what does medium look like? So again, we're going to look at large one more time, look how pretty it looks, really, really awesome. Now, with that being said too, you will notice that if I sit straight, that the large mode does not really fit your headset. It kind of has a little bit going off to the left and right. You can't really focus on the entire screen. You have to like look left or right, down and everything. And that's kind of how you focus on things. So like when I was playing Uncharted, when I was playing Destiny, I was kind of having to go, ooh, Oh, 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 and stuff like it's, it's kind of weird, you know, it's kind of unusual. It's kind of like looking through someone else's eyes at a giant cinema screen. But if I then change to medium, you will see that the screen fits in your actual PlayStation VR's eyesight, which is really cool. Which means if I sit straight, it's like you know, you don't have to look left or right. It's right there. You can move your eyes around without having to move your head. So that is one of the benefits of medium. You will also notice that medium actually increases the screen quality of your PlayStation video games as well, which is really awesome. So we're actually going into true HD territory here, which is fantastic. Now, you can only see this true quality by wearing the headset. What you're seeing in recording-wise is not the actual thing, but you're seeing what the size itself looks like. When it comes to the quality, you have to wear the headsets to see the true quality. So please remember that when it comes to watching this YouTube video, you are not seeing the actual quality through the headset that I'm seeing. Now, that's medium. Let's go back to large. That's large, look. As you can see, you gotta look around. It's really good that it does that automatically for you. It's really, really capable. And so if I go out to medium, again, look, move around. Quality's fantastic. It, it just looks really, really good. But 
what about the other size? Now, this is small. Now, small brings you into what I'd call true HD. Now, even though it's small, it's still a really good size. And again, it might look small to you on the like YouTube video, but to me, it actually looks really good. It's pretty much just a little bit smaller than medium, but it actually even fits even further into your VR's vision. At the same time as that, you may notice this little warning at the bottom of the screen. It says, if you select small, the screen position in the VR headset is always in front of you. That basically means I won't be able to do this. I won't be able to move my head around. It locks into your position, so when you see it on the YouTube video, it's gonna be like, it's just a smaller screen. You will not see me be able to move my head around though. Like, it'll be tracking my head. Like, when I look up, down, everything like that. It's locked into the center of the screen. And that basically means you can actually sit back. You can lie down with your VR headset. As long as your camera is in front of you, you can lay down on your bed, on your couch, and enjoy the VR experience in cinematic mode. So what I'm going to do now is select small. So this here is small. So you may notice that small, nothing is happening for you. But for me, I can sit back. I'm looking actually up at the screen, right like the ceiling, should I say, sorry. And at the screen at the same time, and it's locked to my headset. But you may notice a little bit of like haziness on your version. That is because you cannot see the true HD quality that I am seeing on the headset. You can only experience this when wearing a PlayStation VR headset, so please remember that. But the screen size, you can kind of understand it. Now, with that being said, you, I cannot move my head around or anything like that. I am moving my head around for you right now, and nothing is happening. As you can see, look, I can move the options menu. Looks fantastic, looks wonderful, joy to the world. But that's what happens. Now, if I go back into the screen sizes, I will now scroll back to medium. This is what medium looks like. I can move my head, look, great. And then if I go to large, I have to look around and looks great, looks fantastic. You may notice a little bit of jitteriness at first. It's kind of gone now, look. But that's actually what happens when you change the different sizes, like from small to large. That is because the headset itself has to calibrate. It's actually gone now, which is fantastic. So if I go out to medium, look, there's actually none there, which is, fan which is really, really good, really fantastic. And then if I go down to small, there is small. So I hope this has actually helped you today, and I hope this has actually given you the quality when it comes to the size itself that you were curious about. Sadly, small does not actually show you the true HD quality that I can see, but it looks amazing, I promise you. <laughs> now, with that being said, I will be making a video in the future showing you all free screen sizes while playing a video game. So I hope that's going to help you in the future, but it's been me, Josh, aka Noir Proxy, bringing you a PlayStation VR technical video, and I'll see you all next time. Comment section below, let me know what you think to it, because I would love, love, love to know. But for now, ciao.